Hi everyone, it's Karishma here today from MapleSoft, and this is part two of the video that I recently created on quadratic forms. In this video, I'll talk about how you can actually convert between standard form, intercept form, and vertex form. So let's get started. In this first example, we're going to convert the standard form of this parabola or this quadratic equation into the intercept form and the vertex form. So let's start by first going from standard to intercept form. Now you'll recall our equation is 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. So the first step is to factor out the common term from the equation. So the common term over here is 2. So that gives us 2x squared plus 2x minus 3. And now we have to um, factor this quadratic equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we want to do here is find two terms, multiply out to negative 3 and add up to negative 2. So we want two values, let's call them n and m, that multiply out to negative 3, and we don't need the plot here, and add, out, add up to 2. So let's think. One thought could be, let's try n is equal to 1 and m is equal to negative 3. Well, that satisfies this equation or this condition, but not this one. So let's try using the slider. Let's go, let's go to negative 1 and positive 3. And that works. So let's substitute those values in. So you get y equals 2. And we'll do x minus n minus 1 and x plus 3. And notice that the parabola expressed by this equation is the same as the one expressed by this equation. So these are just alternate representations of the same parabola. So let's move this out of the way. Now let's go ahead and convert the standard form to vertex form. So you'll recall our equation in standard form is 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. We'll do the same thing as we did before and factor out the common term, the 2. That gives us x squared plus 2x minus 3. And now what we want to do is rewrite this using the complete the squares method so we can convert this into vertex form. So it's applying the complete the squares method that's going to take us from um, the standard form to the vertex form. So how do we do that? So we want to take this expression, this quadratic expression, defined by this parabola over here. And what we want to do is rewrite this as a perfect square trinomial plus some constant. So what we're going to do is rewrite this as x squared plus 2x plus some value a. And this is going to be our become our perfect square trinomial minus that value a minus 3. And notice how the introduction or introducing a hasn't actually changed our expression. We're still, um, this is still the graph of the same parabola. This is still the expression of the same parabola. So now what we want to do is find the value of a. So the value of a is going to be the coefficient of the x term, so that's 2. And you take divide that by 2 and you square this. That's how we determine the value of a. So a in this case is 1. And let's go ahead and substitute that back into our expression. I'm just going to copy this. So we have plus 1, minus 1. 
So notice that this is a perfect square trinomial, and this can be factored into x plus 1 all squared minus 4. So we can confirm that this is in fact the right result by looking at the plot, or by also using MapleLearn's context panel to generate the result. So this is the result of complete the squares. So now there's different ways to do it. You can do it line by line as we did it over here, or if this is part of a bigger problem and you just want the answer, you can go and use MapleLearn's context panel. So let's go ahead and substitute this value back into our expression. So we'll get y equals 2 times x plus 1 squared minus 4. And then all we have to do is distribute the 2 across both terms. And we get y is equal to 2x plus 1 squared minus 8. So now we've converted the standard form to the vertex form. And you can look at the graph and we can confirm that these, in fact, are just different representations of the same parabola. So to conclude, we were able to calculate the intercept form um, given the standard form of our parabola, and that is this equation over here, and the vertex form over here. Let's move on to another example. In this example, we're going to start with the intercept form and convert to the standard form and the vertex form. So let's convert from intercept to standard. Now the equation of our parabola in intercept form was 2 times x plus 3 all times x minus 1. To convert this, all we need to do is multiply the values through. So that gives us x squared minus x plus 3x minus 3. And MapleLearn will simplify for, um, that for us. And now we just have to distribute the 2 across all of the terms. And the result is 2x squared plus 4x minus, oh, let me, plus 4x minus 6. So now we're going to convert from intercept form to vertex form. So we'll start with our initial equation. We're going to multiply these uh, values across. And now, in order to go from this expression to vertex form, we're going to have to use the complete the squares method, which I showed earlier. But in this case, since I already showed that, we can use MapleLearn's context panel to go ahead and provide us with the result. So this is the result of completing the squares. We can go and substitute that back in. I think I have one too many brackets. And then we can distribute the two across. And so that's how we go from intercept to vertex form. So let's move to our next example. And in this example, we're going to go from vertex form to intercept form and then to standard form. So let's start with vertex to standard. Our equation is 2 times x plus 1 squared minus 8. And in order to convert this to standard, all we have to do is expand this equation. So that becomes y equals 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 8. And this becomes 2x 
squared plus 4x plus 2 minus 8. And Maple Learn has gone ahead and simplified it, simplified this for us. Now to go from vertex to intercept, again we start with our equation. We go ahead and we want to um, expand the equation. So that gives us this. But in this case what we want to do is factor this. So to do that, you'll recall that we remove the common term. And then we can actually ask MapleLearn to provide us with a factor for that expression. So the factors are 3 and minus 1 and then we can just substitute this back in. And I'm not going through the steps because I showed it earlier in this video um, and that's kind of the nice thing about the context panels. You can use it if you already know um, how to perform a certain operation. So in this case let's go ahead and fill in our table. So this is the result in standard form, which is what we expected, and then this is the result in intercept form. So I will leave um, the completed MapleLearn documents for all of these different um, conversions, so starting from standard and then intercept and vertex, in the YouTube description. And if you have any questions, please feel free um, to ask in the comment section if there's anything you want to see, anything that's not clear. Let me know. I'd be happy to, to do my best to um, provide you with an answer. Thank you so much for listening. And once again, this is Karishma from MapleSoft. Have a wonderful day.